Welcome to Whips in the Dungeon. The excitement never ends around here. Today we've got another unboxing, and you've seen a couple of these already this year. This is kind of an unexpected unboxing. Um, a few years ago, I commissioned what I call a Navy commemorative whip because I retired U.S. Navy. And I thought, well, it'd be nice to have a whip that had an anchor symbol platted into the handle. So uh, Peter Jack made me a Navy commemorative whip. And I thought, well, since it commemorates my naval service, it'd be nice to have it done in navy blue and gold. So, you know, we had, I had not had a lot of experience with brew that's dyed, and I thought, well, why not, right? So we did a whip in blue and gold, and little did we know that the blue was going, the blue dye was going to fade. So after a few years, or I say fade, maybe the proper word is bleed, after a few years, the, the blue had bled through and what would have been a 32 plat collectible whip kind of looked like a mess. And it wasn't Peter's fault because he did what I asked him to. I asked for a whip in blue and gold and that's what he platted me. So we, we you know, we had some discussion about it and we decided, well, or I decided it might be a good idea because as the whip was with the blue bleeding through, it, it still was a great whip. I mean, it threw great, but it was nowhere a collectible whip. And I decided, well, I wanted a collectible whip. And it was the only 32 plat whip I owned. And a 32 plat whip should be a collectible whip. So if you own a 32 plat whip and it's not collectible, then what do you have? Well, you have a whip that works really well, but it's not collectible. So I decided to send it back to him and he took the overlay off of it. And the first three bellies was certainly fine. He took the overlay off of it and replatted a new overlay with uh, with a different kind of roux that we're pretty confident is not going to bleed. So that is what this whip is. So let me show you the rework. Uh, it, it's really nice. The rework of the Navy Commemorative. Uh, you see the handle is in 32 plat. There is a a beautiful anchor plaited on it. He started this handle kind of in a diamond checkerboard and then went to chevron and plaited the anchor into it. And then uh, the rest of the thong is all 32 plat, straight as an arrow. The bellies were not redone. There was nothing done to the bellies. So it's still the original three belly whip uh, it's just the overlay has been redone, and what can I say? It's going to have to be broken in again a little bit, uh, although there shouldn't be a long break in because the bellies are already broken in. It just it has a new tight overlay on it. rolls out nicely, but obviously it's a still a little bit stiff and it's shipped. But that's what a 32 plat whip looks like. Uh, for those of you that have looked at my video on the plat count I recommend, I mean, I recommend for just normal dungeon play that a 12 or 16 plat is plenty. 32 plat is definitely collectible. So there you have it. Four foot bull whip, Navy commemorative. And this, the, the original overlay on this whip is actually the whip that forms the D that's on the side of my coffee cup. So if you want a picture of what that whip looked like to compare with this whip, then buy a coffee cup. Uh, as always, uh, subscribe, ring the bell, and thanks for watching Whoops in the Dungeon.